my 65 inch uh, Sony TV OLED basically kicked the bucket. So we're gonna try to fix it. It's giving me five flashes from there. So according to the internet, that is the T-Con. So we might have to replace the T-Con, but we need to troubleshoot it. If you're having trouble, more or less, this video might help you out. The screen just went dead and all I get is basically five flashes, red flashes on the turn on button that's on the other side. You can't see it, but I get five flashes. It's telling me it's the T-Con. So we went ahead and already probed it and determined, yep, it's the T-Con. So basically this is the model. Okay, very little information on YouTube. So this is why I'm making this video. All right, so as far as opening the shell, this is just the shell that opens up. You just have to remove those little aluminum uh, things that stick out for your frame for the thing that goes to the wall. Okay, so remove those, otherwise you can't un unstick it. It's nothing but, you just stick a, a wedge and you go clank, 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 and there they are. See? So on and so forth. Basically the same thing all the way around. All the way around. And there's some, somewhere around here, they just pop up. That's it. You can take this off. There are no screws whatsoever holding the shell. Mine is already open and I just want to show you the way it looks. Uh, basically, it's, I'm doing this inside my Suburban because I have no room in my house for something this big. It's humongous. So Suburban, perfect. This is where I'm doing my, <laughs> my uh, troll shooting. Now, back in the day, I was a technician. I used to repair these things at the component level, but I had all the tools to do that. I don't have these tools anymore. It's been about 23 years since I have last did any R&D um, in the uh, tech sector. So, so a lot of the components have changed and they've gotten smaller. Other than that, um, it's, everything's basically the same if I had all the tooling, but I was able to probe the power board. Power board is fine. It sends 12 volts to this guy right here. And then this guy sends the signal back to the power board. And then that connect white connector right there, it does turn on and send the signal to the T-Con. So we're assuming the T-Con is burnt because I already uh, unplugged these guys. There's four of these tapes going to the T-Con and it's because the screen is divided in four sectors. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's not these, it's, it's down here. They're down there. Anyways. So you unplug one, you turn on the TV. If you get five flashes, it's still something's wrong with the T-Con. And you do the same thing to all four uh, strips. And if you get five flashes, uh, it's definitely the T-Con and not your screen. If it boots up, it means that one of the sectors, four sectors on your screen is burnt out and shorting out. And basically this is junk, okay? This is a very expensive TV, so I, I didn't want to throw it to the junkyard, so I, I troubleshooted it, and I'm, I'm like 90% sure it's the T-Con. So I went ahead and ordered it. It was only $24 plus shipping. It was like less than 50 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and uh, let's see if we can boot it up. So I went ahead and removed uh, a screw here and a screw over there so we can take off the power button. This is what's gonna give you the flash. Flash will be coming from here when you turn on the TV. All right, so now we have to remove this metal plate. Here's the T-Con board. This is what I was talking about. Quarter of the screen, quarter of the screen, quarter of the screen, and quarter of the screen. So you pull these out. So before we move on, um, make sure do not pull your cable, you know, with, you know, with, with it not being un, uh, unlatched. So grab your nail and just go underneath and then pull up this little tab or this little little winglet. Let me see. Let's see. Okay. You see how that works? When it goes down, it'll snap and it will stay nice and shut. 
Uh, if because if you pull it, you're going to damage that strip of uh, connector and it's going to be ruined. So lift up, lift up, lift up. Okay, and then just make sure that when you pull the strip back in, it should have a black line on the strip of a white connector. Line it up with this, and then you can close it up. Okay, uh, these right here. There's a you just push down on the plastic right here and pull out. These are like you just squish in like that and pull out these two right here. But these two over here, it's a plastic you just press, press, and pull out. Anyways, okay, where were we? Get the four flashes. Um, I'm sorry, I said four, I meant five flashes. Basically, it's still your T-Con, and then you just test that one, and then that one, and then that one. And if you're still getting five flashes, it's definitely your T-Con. It is kaput. If you pull one out and then all of a sudden the whole screen boots up, except for that quarter that this one powers, then it's, it's, it's your screen. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's your screen. It's junk. Garbage. Well, possibly. But what I would do before I would junk it, I'd just buy, see, a new T-Con. Here's a new T-Con. It's exactly the same. We're gonna go ahead and install that and hopefully the whole TV will boot up. Just to confirm, the screen is not on, but we're gonna hit the remote. Let's see, this remote. Okay. Maybe I gotta be up here. Ah, I heard a click. Boom. There we go. It's on. All right. So we replaced the T-Con, we got our TV back, and uh, hopefully this will be the end of this repair. Uh, this is a two grand TV. It's one of those super expensive ones that it really hurt when it broke. It's less than a, no, it's about a year old, and that's when the uh, uh, warranty expired. So <laughs> luckily I have an idea on how to repair these things, and basically I got my TV back. We just booted it up and uh she's fixed so that's how you fix the t-con or replace the t-con and there you go she's fully functional that thing is now perfect this is 65 inch i forgot to say that at the beginning um but basically if you get the five flashes it's generally the t-con so just get your t-con you should be able to find it for about 25 dollars plus shipping and handling, it's going to be about 40, 50 bucks. So anyways, do not pay more than that. Okay. Don't get scammed. All right. That is pretty much it. I hope your TV is up and running soon.